Hi again. Welcome again to my channel. To himself, the only one. The one and only DLG Repping. Yes, I'm bringing you fresh football content um, yet again. Um, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp said that um, his team were not fresh enough mentally and um, physically after their 1-0 defeat at home to Brighton. That's a shocking result for me. Um, angry calls and threats over footballers' vaccines. Now, it's been a um, serious um, outrage um, coming from Chesterfield Football Club. So I'll get onto that um, later on. And then um, I've got First Day's transfer talk. So some interesting stuff to read from First Day's gossip column on the BBC Interactive. So stay tuned for that one. But first, let's kick off with um, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp and what he said about his team not being mentally, not being um, fresh enough mentally as well as physically. Well, Brighton and Albion have taken three big points from Anfield and um, yeah, that's put a big, big dent in Liverpool's title hopes of retaining the title. So it leaves Man City being favourites for me. Right, as it says here, Liverpool not fresh mentally and physically. That's the baby's, um that's the yellow head, yellow, um, that's the head title written in yellow, should I say. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp says his side were not fresh mentally, not fresh enough mentally and physically as Brighton consigned them to a second straight home defeat. Now, Liverpool went 63, 64 home league games without defeat or, yeah, yeah, league games, 64, up to 63, 64 or, or even a little bit more. Anyway, they were unbeaten for a couple of years in the league at home and then they've lost two on the bounce. Goes to show football is um, a funny game. Steven Alzate scored the only goal of the game to inflict further damage on the Reds' faltering title defence. They are now seven points behind Premier League leaders Manchester City, having played a game more. It has been a really tough week with two away games. Two very intense games, said Klopp. Well... It has been um, tough. I can I get that. You know, you need um, the big squad of um, cope and um, to cope. Yeah, to cope. You need um, a certain quality of players to come in and do a job. And well, I didn't get to see the game. I don't know what happened to be honest, but um, it is another defeat for Liverpool. Scoreline was sh a shock to me when I looked. Um, at my phone on on, on the Sky Sports um, app, and I went I went on to football fixtures and results, and I strolled down, and it was one nil Brighton of all odds on Brighton. To, uh, I'll tell you what, yeah, the bookmakers would not have given Brighton an opportunity or a prayer, but you know what? Excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, that was uh, my friend ringing me during the middle of recording. I'm going to have to ring him back and say, I do apologise, but um, I have to get this recording out of the way. Yeah, I can't even think of what I was going to say. But, you know, <clears throat> what, was I gonna, what was I on about? Anyway, it will come back to me, I think. Yeah, Liverpool's, um, yeah, they've, well, they've dropped... Um, Six points in the last two league games at home. And, you know, that's just a, um, a big, big blow for Liverpool. So, you know, Liverpool fans, um, feel free to come on to my channel. Um, if you've got an opinion, you want to share an argument or a thought, leave it in the comment section below. Liverpool football fans, um, while you're doing that, yeah, and while I'm still recording this um, channel... On, on this platform should I say smash the thumbs up like button and speaking of smash please help me by s smashing the subscribe button and and um, 
subscribing to myself and I only DLG repping. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible with a shout out that is. Right, next bit of news is um Angry calls and threats over footballers' vaccines. This is the head title written in yellow. So I'm going to read it on here. A medical centre received angry calls and one staff member was threatened after players at a nearby football club were given COVID vaccines. Chesterfield FC said some players and staff, most of them were vulnerable, were given jabs to stop them being wasted. However, the medical centre which gave the vaccines has received dozens of angry phone calls since the news of the vaccinations appeared in the media. One threatened a female member of staff saying he knew where she lived. That is remarkably disgusting and disgraceful. Threatening a member of staff, telling her that she, that you knew where she lived. That is unacceptable. Whoever this vile idiot is, yeah, please name and shame him around around the world. He does not deserve the respect. He does not deserve the respect of any genuine people in his life. He deserves to be named and shamed. So there's been an outcry over the vaccine calls where some players and staff who are, met, who are deemed as vulnerable were given the jabs to stop them from, you know, stop the, yeah, just from being wasted. And I suppose they were given the jabs to make sure they don't get affected with the disease. And um, I'll tell you what, I'm still thinking about the injection myself, even though um, I am not entirely 100% sure if it's safe for me or not. <clears throat> but to to be a, mem a female member of staff and to be threatened that, you, that you, you are watched and I know where you live, that is disgusting. I hope she calls the police on him and I hope they name and shame him as well. So moving on to the next bit of news. Um, it's the gossip column here. And Thomas Tuchel has made France um, international um, centre-half and Bayern Munich's um, Germany centre-half, Nicolas Soule and Oppa Makano respectively, his top defensive targets in the summer, according to Bill. Now, he has just... Um, become Chelsea manager. He's had two or three games. I think he's going to be his third game tonight against away to Tottenham. Interesting. Didn't someone, didn't someone once say, Tottenham away, love it. <laughs> so, um, Mr. Tuchel um, is looking to strengthen his cent uh, central of the defence with a audacious bid for Upper Marcano and uh, Nicolas Sule, who I rate both of them very highly. I wish um, we had um, Dale up on Makano at Arsenal, if I'm being completely honest with you. Sule is under contract until next year, and Bayern Munich hands manager Hansi Flick says it is up to the defender to decide where he sees his future. Okay, that's fair enough, according to the Metro. Borussia Dortmund are willing to drop their asking price for 20 year old England forward Julian Santo by 20 million to 88 million. To reignite interest from Manchester United, according to the newspaper Bill. So Bill's been pretty busy here. According to Massa, Real Madrid agree a four year deal with 28 year old Austria international David Alaba, who can play in defence or midfield and whose contract at Bayern Munich expires in the summer. Um, Sheffield United, this is um, back home again. <laughs> Sheffield United um, owner, according to TalkSport, Prince Abdullah says he got special permission to fly from Saudi Arabia to England to tell manager Chris Wilder his job is safe even if the club are relegated. <laughs> now, everything that's written in the gossip column is never exactly all true. So, um, I'm... Just gonna have to um, shrug my shoulders on it because 
we don't know how true this is. Um, but uh, sorry, Arsenal, Tottenham, and Southampton are interested in signing French defender Ivan Indica from Eintracht Frankfurt, according to Bill in German. Yep. John Terry and Patrick Vieira are among the contenders for the Bournemouth job following the sacking of Jason Tindall. Woo! That's a shock. This seems a lot true, this story written by someone in the mail. And my mate's still calling me and I've just said that I'm recording. He's going to have to wait. I'll call him back. Ugh. Right, let's read some more here. Manchester United agree a first professional contract with 17-year-old English winger Shola Shuritaya amid, amid strong interest from Paris Saint-Germain. Sorry, I've got that one. Shola Shortia. And this is written by some. This is written by... I mean, oh, Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona and... Bayern Munich and Juventus were all interested in your 17-year-old winger. But Man United have won the signature to get this person to their first um, professional contract. Real Madrid forward Karen Benzema's return to Lyon depends on the Spanish side's results. The 33-year-old Frenchman left Lyon for Real in 2009, which he did. And it, I'm going to leave it here with um, the last one here. It's, no, this is not the last one, but I'm going to read it out. Arsenal's English midfielder Joe Willock says that he signed for Newcastle on a six-month loan because he hit it off with manager Steve Bruce on a video call. Well, we'll look forward to seeing him for the rest of the season. That's if he starts. But um, well done on his move to Newcastle and I hope it all works out for him during his loan move and then we'll assess whether he can come back to Arsenal and um, fight for a starting place. Ajax record signing Sebastian Haller was mistakenly left off the club's Europa League list. The Ivorian forward left left West Ham United for the Dutch side for 20 million in January. That's a good bit of business for West Ham there. And um, a big move for Sebastian Haller. So I think it's a win-win situation, that one. This is um, something written by the ESPN. So I'm going to leave it as that and um, end it here altogether. And say, guys, it's been a pleasure talking to you as always. Ladies to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. Always a pleasure. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in and putting up with me, as you always do. Do remember to voice your opinions, your thoughts, um, strong arguments about Liverpool's um, mentality and physicality, according to Jurgen Klopp. Um, if you've got any views on a member of staff who was um, threatened by an idiot and a, a complete D-head, then um, leave it in the um, comment section below. And um, anything that I've read from the gossip column, yeah, you know what you have to do. If you've got an opinion or some rumour that you've heard of recently, don't have to be involved in oh, just Arsenal, your club, your team, then leave it in the comment section below, your thoughts and your opinion. Otherwise, smash the thumbs up like button and please just sub and please subscribe to my channel. That's my me and myself only DLG repping. I've got eighty three subscribers, and speaking of subscribers, I've got a new subscriber, and um, this one I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's a him or her, but can, uh, well, but shout out to you anyway. Yeah, that's um, showing me um, peace, love, and. Um, the support that you are, uh, yeah, the support that I get as well. So that's many of you. That's um, another one who's showing me peace, love, and support. I appreciate that sub, that sub, and um, I'll take it on board. Now with another nine hundred and seventy seventeen subscribers to go, let's keep it um, growing this channel, and um, I'll do my best to keep um, this channel entertaining and hit you up with the latest football content as well. Otherwise, um, you know what time it is. I'm out of here. Peace, love, and bless again, as you, as I always um, give you, leave you guys with. And um, I'll be off to do other things. Other than that, yeah, enjoy your day, and just be nice.